Yo, muchacho. On your journey to look like a sexy anime boy, you might be wondering which one is better, weights or calisthenics? Now, this is a debate that's been going on forever and it's probably even more intense than the iPhone versus Android argument. And look, I'm not gonna waste your time because the answer to this question is, it's complicated. Actually, it's pretty straightforward, but there are definitely some things you want to consider before you pick one style of training. And we got to begin with which one is easier to start with. So when it comes to calisthenics, when you think about it, you really don't need anything because as long as you have your own body, you can pretty much train almost anywhere. And if you can find some bars to do some dips and pull-ups, you're pretty much good to go which means that with calisthenics, it's pretty much almost free 99. Well, not exactly. Because I think we all know that when it comes to weightlifting, that you definitely need access to a gym to do it. So you can either buy a gym membership or you build your own home gym, which both will cost you some moolah. But also, when you think about calisthenics, yes, of course, you could do it for free, but after a while, you're gonna want to invest a little bit to spice up your training and get equipment like. And also, if I'm being completely honest, calisthenics might not be ideal for a certain demographic of people. You really are a fat You know, that hurts my feelings. I've tried going on a diet, you know. The zone, you know, carbs are the enemy. You know? Because check this out. When you're doing a basic movements like a push-up, you are lifting about 70% of your body weight. And this means that if you're very heavy, from the very start, you're gonna be pushing a whole lot of weight. And look, I don't know about y'all, but when I first started working out, I was so weak that I couldn't even lift the bar. So when I think about this, I really feel for my overweight muchachos because doing calisthenics might not be that realistic. And I mean, yeah, sure, you could use regressions of the basic movements to make it a whole lot easier. But on the flip side, you could also use weights because they're very easy for you to scale. Which now brings me to the next point, and that is, which one is better for gains? So I think we all know that when it comes to building muscle mass, you need to keep challenging yourself over time to grow. And when it comes to weights, it is so simple, it is dummy proof. Because all you need to do is literally add more weight. But while with calisthenics, you can still get that same effect, but a little bit different. And that's by using harder variations. Now for me, this isn't necessarily a bad thing because when you have more variations in your workouts, they can be a whole lot more interesting. But there is one thing you definitely wanna think about and that is as you get better with calisthenics, the variations start to require a little bit more skill to perform. Like for example, let's just say you're doing some pike presses to build up your shoulders. And at some point, all the variations start to get very easy. How you can make this more challenging is doing the freestanding handstand push-up. Now I gotta admit, this move looks freaking badass as hell, but there's just one problem. Yeah, buddy. Yes, I know it's embarrassing. I'm a calisthenics channel, but yet I can't do a handstand. But honestly, I don't really give a damn because I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel it's necessary for you to look like an amateur Cirque du Soleil performer if you want to build muscle. For me, I just want to build the muscle with minimal skill required. And luckily, there's still a way for you to build muscle with calisthenics without needing too much skill. And you can just simply, I mean, genius, right? Like who would have thought that if you just add weight to the basic movements, it will help you build muscle? Wow, like, wow. 
So when you really think about it, at this point, we are kind of blurring the lines between calisthenics and weightlifting because we're pretty much almost doing the same exact thing with both. But now you might be very curious about, okay, now which one is actually better for sculpting your physique? Because look, when you're doing calisthenics and weights, you're actually gonna be doing a lot of compound movements because these give you the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to building muscle. But there is one problem with compounds and that is they work a lot of muscles and over time you might start to notice that certain muscle groups will start to lag. And when this happens, how you bring them up is doing more isolations. And I have to admit, there are also some calisthenic exercises they can do to isolate some of these muscles. But hey, when it comes to isolations, whichever way you go really depends on you and what you prefer. But while we're at it, we also have to address the elephant in the room. And no, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about these. Because look, muchacho, I don't care what anybody says. When it comes to building up your legs, weights are king. Because there's no way in hell you're gonna do air squats and get your legs looking like Tom Platts. But look, I also understand that everybody doesn't have the same goal. And maybe you don't want to build nice legs. Maybe you want to look like a real life Dorito. And if that's your goal, hey, it's all right. But for me personally, when I train, I kind of want to have a more balanced looking physique. That's why currently I tend to do a lot of calisthenics when it comes to my upper body and weights when it comes to my legs and isolations. In fact, I'm in love with this style of training so much that I created a program called Wakeout Aesthetics, which combines the best of both worlds when it comes to weights and calisthenics. So if you're interested in this kind of training style, you can check it out using the link in the description box below, and you can enter in the code HYBRID20 to save 20% off your cart order. And muchacho, if you're interested, you gotta act fast because this sale is gonna end in just a few days. So at this point, muchacho, I think we finally have the answer for what is better between weights and calisthenics. And that is, it depends on you. Because look, when it comes to working out, we all start in different places. We all have different goals and we all find different ways of training more exciting. So it makes no sense for you to be very black and white when it comes to this kind of stuff. Because whether you choose to do calisthenics, weights, or even both. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because as long as you find a training style that you enjoy, that you can stick to in the long run, that is the one that freaking works. So boys, in the comment section below, I'm very curious. You gotta let me know. What do you think is better, weight or calisthenics? And while you're typing, you gotta remember to always strive to improve, even if just a little bit, each and every single day. Kaizen. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.